Last year, I had to leave the Indian airport in a wheelchair. I suffered a major back injury. I had no choice but to stop my yoga practice. The only thing I could do was lying on the floor and surrender. I'm a traveler artisan and a yoga teacher. I've been living as a nomad for over a decade, sustaining myself by selling handmade jewelry all over South America, Central America, and also in Europe. I used to sell my handicrafts at festivals, in party environments, and on the street of popular destinations for backpackers, tourists. In the mornings, I would set my jewelry on a cloth on the floor, while people next to me were still drunk from the previous nights. Then, in the evenings, I would bring my jewelry to different events. So, I was always working while others were drinking and partying. After 10 years, I felt so tired of this party atmosphere. I didn't want to deal with loud music, large groups of people. I certainly wanted to avoid the alcohol and drug scene. When I was a teenager, I struggled with addiction to heavy drugs myself. I had a liver disease in consequence of that, and a doctor even gave me a death sentence. He said I had no more than five years to live. And that's how I started my adult life. Yoga started in my life when I was 25 with the five Tibetan rites. I learned the sequence from a book when I was living in London. In my 30s, I decided to focus on capoeira, a very dynamic and energetic martial arts from Brazil. Closer to my 40s, I was living with some performing artists in Colombia. They taught me a yoga sequence they would use to warm up their backs before going up to the trapeze. Then I reached the stage where the idea of having a teacher came up, so I was recommended to go to Mysore in South India and try Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga. And so I did. It was here in Mysore that for the first time in my life I went to an actual yoga class. I was 41 years old. Ashtanga Yoga has given me the anchor in life that I needed after so many years of moving constantly and traveling intensively. It gave me access to a community that provided me with a sense of family that I now belong to. At the same time, I discovered meditation. It has definitely changed me. From the start, it was an eye-opener. I'm more focused, calm, and I accept the difficulties with a more relaxed mind. But it was not all easy. 
I had to face many challenges and obstacles. My ribs were in constant pain for the first three years of my Ashtanga yoga practice. And then, when I thought I was getting better, I had a major back injury last year. I could barely walk. Even pranayama was painful. I couldn't sit upright and deep breathing affected my back. I was very fortunate to have found amazing healers on my path to help me with my back. I tried many alternative therapies like acupuncture, Thai massage mixed with myofascial, mixed with craniosacral therapy, barefoot walking. But I had an epiphany with a technique called life alignment. It was an insight into why this has happened and what issues in my life were related to my back injury. I guess I was going through a deep cleansing. Now I've even become a certified life alignment healer myself. took almost one year of a great deal of pain, but little by little, with the support of all these therapies, I started my Ashtanga Yoga practice from scratch again, trying to focus on what I was able to do now instead of what I was able to do before. As I was able to take a long distance flight, I came back to my teacher in India. With his help and trust, in the blink of an eye, I was able to manage asanas that I struggled for years. I'm glad I didn't listen to the negative comments going around me. My back now feels even better than before the injury. This disc injury came as a blessing in disguise. I'm strong again and flexible as never before. A deep healing has taken place. I guess I needed to be broken in order to be properly fixed. I've had to continue my practice at home because of the quarantine, although I always look forward to practice with my teacher. But I remember his words and his energy and it's all good.
I'm Steph and I'm 46 years old. This is my story. <laughs>